Hello everyone, it's Lisa here and welcome back to my channel. So today we are building something with the new pack that just has been released today. And I am super excited to share this build here with you and to talk about the new kit with, not kit, about the new pack with you. And yeah, so the new pack is called Dream Home Decorator Pack and it's all about interior design. And yeah, since it's about interior design, I decided to build an apartment. Like first just to try out all of the items and just to see what we got and how they like fit with other items. And yeah, so this is the 17 Culpepper house in San Michuno, and that's the pack that came with City Living. And it's in the upper left neighborhood. I think it's the Spice District. Yes, I think it is. And yeah, so this apartment here is for a fashion designer, actually, because I didn't want to make it for an interior designer, because I think they are already like plenty of people who did that <laughs> so therefore I just wanted to do something different but I think or like I'm pretty sure that I'm going to build something for a fashion designer as well at some point but like maybe in the next couple of days probably so yeah I just wanted to do something different basically because I thought we got so many like clothing items and I thought this kind of fits the whole like like a fashion designer as well. So we got the fashion designer career with some base game update I think like some months or years ago. I'm not too sure but it's a base game feature. So yeah. So just like it's a career. I actually haven't played with that career before, but maybe you want to do that and try that out. So I think it's also a little bit like the interior design career. So I think like if I'm not mistaken, you also have to like create some outfits and stuff. Yeah, but I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure. I did some research on Google before I like did the voiceover but I'm not I'm really not too sure now but uh, whatever <laughs> also if this voiceover is a little bit messy and everything it's because my head is pretty messy at the moment as well I got my second dose of vaccine today and therefore um, my arm hurts like hell <laughs> but it's just that and I'm having a little headache but it's 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 not too bad but that's maybe why I'm like not in the best uh, condition maybe <laughs> I'm not sure how to say that but I yeah I just had a lot of fun with building this apartment and I wanted to share it with you and yeah so that's why I just decided to like do everything like now and not tomorrow and stuff because I think tomorrow I'm going to build a lot like crazy because I want to use all the new items that we got even though <laughs> so now my like criticism crit criticism comes yeah that's how you pronounce it i think like the all the clutter items and stuff i think they are like amazing but this modeler those model modeler items like they they drove me crazy <laughs> i was so like i don't like them at all i think they do look quite nice but like only I, I don't like the round shaped ones actually. I think I'm not going to use them that often. Uh, like there are two kinds of like furniture things, like those round ones and also the like sharp ones with corners, <laughs> whatever you would call them. And yeah, like the ones I used here. And they always like they, they clip together. Like you place them next to each other and then they automatically like go together. But it's something I'm just like not a big fan of somehow. I want to be able to like place them where I want them and it was so annoying that I just when I wanted to move just one thing then everything moved and this and there and is there a feature like to like to how do you say that like that it's not this modeler thing anymore because this is driving me crazy <laughs> this was so upsetting when I was building and also I tried to uh, size some items down like some of those uh, wall like sh shelving units and when I sized them down I couldn't place them like next to each other at all because there was this big gap between them and that was so annoying like really that was so yeah, that really annoyed me, <laughs> but that's just this thing and I really do hope that we kind of get a feature that you can like turn it off that it clips automatically or maybe I'm just stupid and didn't know how to do that and just 
I don't know. So that's just my opinion about that. <laughs> And yeah, but just the clutter items, they are amazing. And also the sectional sofas, they are just amazing as well. So <laughs> definitely, I can definitely recommend that pack. That's that's for sure. Even though I was really struggling with that apartment, actually. It was, it was definitely quite a lot of fun, just because there are a lot of new items that I could use. But the whole style of those items is quite modern, I would say. And if you watch my videos, you know that I do struggle a lot with modern builds. And therefore, I struggled a lot with that apartment here as well. Also, like all of the those uh, furnitures and stuff, they didn't come in that, that much like colorful swatches. And I really do like colorful stuff, like in The Sims. But... Um, I think that's also like a good thing maybe because I know that a lot of people are not that much into like those really bright color stuff. So I think that's okay, but it's also something that made it a little bit more difficult to use because I was just, I just couldn't make it like colorful this apartment and that was a little bit <laughs> annoying to me, but it's just, I think those are just like some tiny bits just, yeah. So the my total opinion about that pack is definitely positive. I absolutely adore all of those items, even though I'm just like, I'm not too sure if I'm going to use all of them, but yeah, I'm just going to like see how I'm going to use those items in the future. I'm not too sure yet, but anyway, so that's my opinion about the whole pack. Yeah. Also, I'm planning on building a starter home soon, maybe just like with uh, just the new pack, the dream decorator. Like, and now I forgot the name of the pack. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I, I don't remember it right now, but um, yeah, so I'm planning on doing a like pack restricted build with only the new pack and also base game. So if you are interested in that, I think I'm just, yeah, maybe I will build it today or tomorrow, depending how tired I am, <laughs> uh, because I want to try out the gameplay myself. And as I, I'm a person, I don't like to use the mother load sheet when I'm like doing gameplay myself, which is like not happening often. But if I do, then I don't like to cheat everything because I want to earn everything. And therefore I'm going to build a starter home like, yeah, because I want to play it and therefore I need a starter home. And yeah, so I think then I'm going to make a starter home for a fashion designer, probably. So that's coming sometime the next days. Like, I don't want to promise anything, but that's my plan at least. So yeah, <laughs> uh, just wanted to like mention that as well. So uh, yeah, back to the build, I think. <laughs> so I already decorated the entryway, the bathroom, the bedroom, and now I'm doing the living room. And yeah, the like, it's a little bit weird because normally I start with the kitchens or something like that, but I actually built that kitchen like three times or like four times and I built the entire kitchen again because I didn't like it. It was just looking weird. So therefore I thought, okay, I'm going to do the kitchen at last <laughs> because before I was starting with the kitchen, but it was just not, it was just not feeling right. So. Therefore, I just did it in the end, just to get a kind of feeling with those items. And yeah, so as I mentioned before, this apartment is for a fashion designer. And therefore, I've added this little board here on the wall, which is like it came with the fashion designer career. And yeah, so this is the little office space. And I'm also adding those mannequins all over the whole like apartment or like mostly just in this little office area and the... Um, living room <laughs> but uh, yeah they came with get to work and if you are in live mode you can click on them and then you just can like dress them and that's kind of nice because it gives everything a little bit more of detail and yeah i really do enjoy that <laughs> and like that i also could like look a little bit into create a sim actually and if you are staying for the screenshots you're going to see all of the outfits that I created with the new pack. I think most of the items are from the new pack, but not all of them, like from the outfits, yes. Uh, so like, if you want to see that, then stay for the screenshots, because I think I did that in the end and I didn't like show that on camera because I'm not that good at create a sim and therefore I'm not planning on doing create a sim videos or anything like that and or like include that in my builds. So yeah, 
But now we are decorating the last room and that's the kitchen. And yeah, so we got two new kitchen sets with this pack, which is just like incredible. <laughs> I didn't thought that we were getting like any amazing new kitchens anytime soon, actually. But yeah, I'm really happy that we got them, even though they are like not totally my style and that's just made it the whole kitchen i was just like not happy with how it went like now with the finished version version i'm i'm happy i like it <laughs> but it's not like my most favorite kitchen i would say yeah i definitely have to get used to those items it's just because it's it's not this cottage vibe that i normally like go for <laughs> so it was really difficult for me but i managed it somehow and i'm really open to like try out some new styles and just to like figure out how everything would work together so yeah like don't expect any modern builds from me like or yeah i think i'm going to build some like modern touch it builds like <laughs> some builds which are a little bit modern but like i'm not too sure like i'm definitely not going to build a lot of modern builds in the future because they are just like not that i don't know they are totally out of my comfort zone <laughs> so therefore i'm just not going to do them that often i think but anyways if you got any suggestions what i should build with the new pack just leave them down in the comment section and i'm happy to read them and get your ideas because i'm pretty open to build something with the new pack because i still like i want to explore those new items more so therefore yeah and yeah so i think we are almost at the end of the video so if you like this build then please give it a thumbs up that would really help me out and you can also subscribe to my channel and hit that like the the bell yeah you can like how do you say that you can click that bell so that you get notifications when i upload a video if you are interested in that i would also really like how uh, yeah my my english is going great today <laughs> I would really appreciate that. So thank you so much for watching and I hope I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye everyone!